Farms are devastated. The severe flooding swept away months of work. Our Johan Marin spoke to Metro farmers who believe the rebuilding process will take some time. 35 acres of vegetables were lost on Nelson Produce Farms and yesterday severe flooding. Despite this, the owner tells me he's moving forward. We have to put new seeds in the ground. This field here, we did replant about four days ago because we had so much rain earlier. From bell peppers to tomatoes, weeks and months of crops sit in drenched water. It gets frustrating just putting it in and taking it back out and ripping it back out and planting it again and, and expenses of that. Nelson saw yesterday's flooding fill the land with at least seven inches of water. The produce that was salvaged was stored in the greenhouse. I think it's going to affect the earliness of the the vegetables I think will be a little bit later, but we do bring in uh, for like our roadside stands. We do bring in produce from Georgia and, and Florida and other farms like Heartland Farms also saw impacts from the storm. Baby laying in the grass here right now. It was born last night. I had to pull him. He was stuck in the mud so bad it was like a suction cup. Cudmore also saw water get into some of the farm's horse shelters, but luckily the animals weren't hurt. Mother Nature hasn't been nice to us lately. While Mother Nature hasn't been nice, that isn't stopping Nelson and Cudmore from bouncing back. We just got to pick up and start over. It is what it is. On your side, I'm Johan Marin, 6 News. Nelson Produce Farm has a market that opens to the public on June 4th. That's less than two weeks away now. The owner tells 6 News he and his team will do what they can to make sure there aren't any delays.